Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm here with a fabric and pattern haul for you guys. Um, but I want to talk about it before I show you what I got. Um, just because I'm very aware of sustainability and I don't know, like I feel like with hauls, sometimes it's just, you know, adding more and more to a stash that, um, it just it is excess and unneeded and that kind of thing. But on the other hand, having a reasonable, as with everything needs balance, having a reasonable stash, I think for me helps promote creativity and um, as long as you're using it, if that is stuff that you're using and all that kind of thing. And since I've been sewing in capsule wardrobes, I have found it to be very beneficial to have a few things in the stash at a moment's notice that I can then, um, you know, do pattern tests or, you know, whatever, you know, I work with Love Notions, I work with Itch to Stitch. I have a, another pattern company that I'm working with this year that I will talk about here soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, having that, having supplies on hand just really helps uh, me be more efficient in that way. Um, that being said, I do like to wait for sales. And um, when I do that, I, I keep an idea of things that I need in my stash. For instance, I am somewhat low on knits, especially like French Terry type sweatshirt type knits, cozier stuff that I'm working with right now. Um, just some jerseys and then also rayons. Like those are ones that I actually use the most and so they go down in my stash. Now coatings, I'm like looking at all of my wools. I inherited a lot of wools from my mentor when she got rid of her stash. Um, but that kind of stuff I have a ton. Like I don't know that I ever need to buy a wool unless it's something that just is like screaming at me that I just really, really want. But um, anyway, I do like to buy um, from sales, obviously, to get the best price, biggest bang for my buck. Now, I have paid for everything that I'm showing you. I, not full price because I bought them on sale, but I paid exactly the price that any of you would have paid had you purchased any of this at the same time. Um, I want to be very upfront about that. With the exception of one piece because a friend of mine that I am helping mentor a little bit in the sewing journey gave me a gift card as a thank you um, for around Christmas time and I used that plus some, plus I paid some for one of these pieces. But everything else I, um, and I'll show you, tell you which one that was, but everything else I purchased with my own money at the same prices that you guys would pay. Um, now I've got stuff from Minerva, which is in the UK. Um, they have phenomenal uh, international shipping. It's like $5 international shipping if you spend over 50 pounds, not $5, sorry, five pound international shipping if you spend over 50 pounds. Um, and it's pretty quick. Like it's not, it, you know, once, I think this shipment was a little bit longer only because it was a big sale and so I'm sure they had a ton of orders that they were getting out. But once I get that dispatch email, I usually have the package within a week. So um, yeah, that's just, and I'm in the middle of the United States, so just as for reference. And then the other one is Style Arc, um, or sorry, Style Maker Fabrics, which um, is just one of my favorite fabric stores. And again, I don't have any affiliates with her. I I do her fabric tour usually, um, or I have in the past, uh, the fall and the spring, um, where I do get gifted fabric and I let you know that. But other than that, any of the times I'm talking about style arc fabric or style maker, sorry, style maker fabric, <laughs> style arc on the brain, style maker fabric, I've purchased it for the same price that you guys pay for it as well. And again, I don't have any affiffiliates. The links are all just any link that you would, I provide the links below, but they're just any link that you would pull off if you went on your own and, and found the fabrics. Okay, so with all that being said, <laughs> obviously I've been sewing in wardrobes and I don't know what the spring wardrobe's gonna be. So I couldn't really buy specifically for the spring capsule that I'm gonna be working with. Um, but I did have a couple pieces I wanted to pull off to grab just to finish off my um, winter wardrobe. I just had a few. And um, and then I grabbed some pieces again to fill those holes, like the knits and stuff like that in my wardrobe. Now, I totally shop with my color card every single time. Now, I know um, that this isn't everyone's colors, but I, I really highly suggest, even if you don't use Color Guru, although I do have a 10% off code, I will leave it down below. That is an affiliate. I do get commission on that, but I'll leave it down below if you're interested. Um, but any kind of color analysis, whatever that you choose, I just think that it makes everything so much more cohesive. So I don't have any pieces in my wardrobe that I have purchased in the last two years. I still have some old stuff that probably needs to be weeded out, um, but that I probably won't use, but 
I don't have anything that I've purchased in the past two years that isn't something that I would still use and still love to this day. So I, and it all goes together. So even if I'm not using, you know, some of these colors in my spring capsule, I very, you know, probably be using them in my summer capsule or even next spring or whatever. And I just wanted to get the things that I know are a good deal. And I buy very classic pieces. Um, I try not to get too trendy with things. The other thing is that I've taken the style signature style class so I know what prints that I'm more likely to wear so I don't get sucked in with all the pretty colors and that sort of thing. Um, and I do know that I wear a lot of solids. So um, that's another thing that I, you'll see here in a second, that I pick up a lot of. So <laughs> with all that being said, that's kind of how I go about shopping the sales. Now, um, I was thinking, I, I know of a couple of pattern tests that are coming up that I was kind of shopping for, um, some pattern releases of especially work that I do with Love Notions because I am one of their brand ambassadors, so things that I just really needed to have some fabric for. So some of this stuff is purchased with things in mind, and I just can't tell you about it yet. Um, but, you know, obviously I'll show it all on the channel. So the first thing, and I'm trying to see what I've got here. I'm going to show you the wovens first. I don't have very many wovens, but I'm going to show you those first and um, kind of talk you through. I'll show you first what I grabbed with. So my friend Marissa that I have been, um, she was a friend of mine for um, a few years now, and um, we were part of a sewing group together. And uh, she just had a baby uh, seven months ago. And so she's been coming over and she's a very, she's an excellent seamstress. So her skills are like, top notch. Um, you know, she's been sewing her whole life, all that kind of stuff, but she comes over and, um, you know, I, we help each other with like some fitting things, you know, things that you can't see, you know, on yourself and that kind of thing. So, um, she sent me a gift card to Melanated Fabrics as a thank you, which was so kind. And I use that to buy this fabric. Um, so I bought three yards of this rayon chalet from Melanated Fabrics, um, using her gift card and they were having a 15% off sale as well. So I combined those two and, um, I mean, I had to pay some out of pocket, but, um, a very nice price for this beautiful rayon chalet. Look at these colors. Okay. So, with the exception of this hot pink is not in my color palette, but everything else is. So this yellow, this is what's so great about shopping with <laughs> your color card. No matter if you're using this or anything else, I just cannot be a big enough advocate for knowing your colors. Like it's just been a game changer for me, um, especially with my shopping. But it's this bright yellow that's on my color card. This one right here, that's the background. And um, I mean, I've got like kind of this, this teal color that's on here. Um, obviously, I mean, this is like my red that I love. Like this is my signature red. Again, this fuchsia color is not on my color card, but there's so many of these that are. Even this like kind of a peachy corally color, which I would equate to kind of maybe like this color on here. Even that's like in the print, like <laughs> back there. So, um, and even this gray, this is even my warm gray. Look, I have like one gray on my color card. Everything else is browns, but that's even my warm gray. So very exciting. But I grabbed this knowing that I want to make another Rose Claire dress from, um, uh, cashmere. So I love mine that I made so much and I want to try, she's got a, that pattern comes with like a simpler version. Um, with like a shorter sleeve and it doesn't have all the tiers and stuff like that on it. Although you could put the big sleeve on and just not do the tiers just to make it a little less of like a statement. I mean, this is going to be a statement, but something that I could wear a little bit more every day. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make another Rose Claire dress with that and with this. And that is exactly why I grabbed this one for that purpose. I've just really enjoyed wearing my fall Rose Claire. So wanted one for and more springy colors. So this will be made up probably, I don't know, maybe next month, maybe in February. But that is, um, again, a gift from my friend Marissa, which was so kind of her. Okay, and then the rest of these, these three all came from Style Maker Fabrics, um, and they're all in my color palette. So I grabbed this one. So she was having a sale on her, um, selvage yard and clearance section of her website so if you don't aren't familiar with that part of her website it's fantastic sometimes she gets like random end of bolts from like x designer type stuff um that she'll put there and puts it at a reduced price or it'll just be like selvage yards like maybe she's got you know one and a half yards of this fabric left that were like end of bolt and so she sticks it over there at a reduced price or if she's clearancing out fabric she sticks it over there as well so she was having an additional 15 percent off i think that's what it was off that whole section of her website which is where i got everything but two things um 
from her. The other two were things from my winter capsule that I just had sitting in my cart. So one of them that I grabbed is this gorgeous Rayon Chalet border print. Look at that. So it's, I need to serge the edges and get all this washed, but um, if you've been following along at all, my washing machine is not my friend right now. We bought a new set, but it doesn't get delivered until later this week, so um, I'm waiting for that. But look at this border print. Isn't that beautiful? And I thought, you know, I just love a wrap dress. It's just my favorite. Um, I thought that this could be a wrap dress, or I could try doing something different. There are a few Love Notions patterns that um, I have been having on my list forever, like the Cadence, um, is it called the shift dress? Cadence? I don't know, it's a blouse and dress. Uh, I've been wanting to make that forever, although I've got three yards of this, so I've got plenty that I could, you know, that one I don't think takes very much. But there's a few Love Notions patterns that I'd really like to mess around with and play with. Um, you know, try some different hacks and stuff like that, um, as well as some patterns that I got. We'll go over that last. I got some Pattern Emporium patterns. She had a Boxing Day sale, so the day after Christmas, I think it was 30% off, I think. But I bought, I don't know, like seven patterns <laughs> But uh, that I had my eye on. But yes, I got this beautiful border print. Again, it's a Rayon Chalet. It feels lovely. I mean, it's just a really nice... Um, weight. You know, not all Rayon Chalets are created equal, but um, that's in my blues. And I've just been wanting to bring some more blues back into my wardrobe a little bit. I love wearing blues in the spring and summer. I love pairing blue and white with yellow. It's one of my favorites. Um, as well as, I'm very excited about trying this like kiwi color that's on my card, which you're going to see. I'm going to play around with that. And then I also grabbed this one, also for a summer dress. Um, I don't know what yet, but uh, it just, it was too beautiful. And these are my colors as well. This kind of a, a teal, and it's got like the coral little flowers on it, and it's got some of that like bright kind of kiwi color there in the leaves. Uh, but I love a floral, and um, knew that this one would be a, a great dress. In addition to some, I may save this one because there could be some pattern testing later this year that for this one. And then the last one I grabbed was this, and this is for a pattern that I'm aware it's going to be a, sh a shirt. Um, but look at this. Isn't that fun? It's a rayon. This is also a rayon twill, I guess you would call it, um, but shirting weight. And it's just got these different purples and greens. So now I'm pulling from my um, purples, purples, <laughs> and uh, the greens down here with this one, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, so this will, yeah, this is going to be a shirt or a dress, but this is for, I bought this for a, a pattern that I know is coming. So grabbed this one. I think that's really pretty. And I've actually had my eye on this one for a while. Um, so when it showed up in the selvage yard, I grabbed it. And I think I grabbed three yards. That is my go-to. People ask me that question a lot. Um, if I'm unsure what I'm going to use for a fabric, but if there's a possibility it's going to be a dress, I grab three yards. I can make almost almost any dress that I want to make out of three yards. Now, the Rose Claire, the big one that I did um, for Thanksgiving, that one was, that's more like four, four and a half. Um, I think four. I think I got that out of four yards. But I also shorten things, remember, because I am only 5'2", so everything has to be shortened on me. But usually for dresses, three yards if it's wide. Um... If it's a narrower, like a, like a, some shirting comes narrower, like 44, I will grab two and a half to three for a shirt. Um, if it's wider, I can usually get a shirt out of two, like a, I'm talking like a blouse or like a button up type shirt. Um, something that I want to make out of pants, one and a half to two, depending on if I want like a straight leg pant or a wider leg pant. Um, is usually what I, because again, I have to shorten everything for me. Um, so it's just knowing some general um, yardages, and that's kind of how I shop. Okay, I'm going to finish showing you what I got from StyleMaker, and then we'll go on to what I got from Minerva. So um, I also grabbed this uh, sweatshirting. So I grabbed this in this color and also in this flamenco color that you can kind of see. I can't show you that yet. <laughs> but I bought both of these. Not sure what I was going to use for what. And, um, and this is pretty close to like this kind of clear blue that's on my, I don't know. It also goes well with my daughter. My daughter may end up grabbing this one. Some of the stuff, um, she's more muted than I am and she's cooler than I am, but on many levels. But <laughs> I grabbed this thinking um, it might, because I couldn't tell for sure the color on the screen, but um, I think I could pull it off, but this may actually end up going to her. So um, for like a sweatshirt of some sort, it's a cotton tinsel 
twill or cotton tinsel blend um, and I just bought the sweatshirting and I think I got three yards thinking of like a sweatsuit so yes I've made and also the flamingo color which is like it's really more of a neon pink it's like it's not really on my card it's like this color <laughs> but neon bright so it may I was wanting it more as a statement which is you know you gotta live your life so I bought those two but this is um, both from that salvage area my knits have actually been washed. I did that before my dryer decided to, or my washing machine decided to go out on me. And then I also grabbed this French Terry just because I thought it was pretty. Um, and again, with in mind of a pattern that is coming out here soon. So um, actually I was thinking of this could either be for the pattern that I'm thinking or um, making a French Terry Sirocco. If I really like my Deer and Doe Sirocco that I'm making out of a cotton jersey, um, which I think might be okay. I know some people said that cotton jersey was a little too thin for them, um, but really my problem area is above the waist. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but uh, I thought a French terry one would be kind of fun too. So I also thought that it'd be fun to play with stripes. And again, this is like vanilla and it's this teal that's here on my color. Uh, and I got three yards of this, I'm pretty sure. And it's a, it's a lighter weight French terry, but it's got a lot of stretch to it. So I thought this might be a good combination if I really like that Sirocco, and I think I'm going to um, with the other fabric for my winter. And, I'm, and maybe I'll even do the shorts one, I don't know. So I grabbed that one. Again, that was all in the um, selvage. And then I grabbed four cotton jersey knits. And three of them, I think, were all the same knit. They were just three different colors, and I think she was just clearancing them out. Um, and then the fourth one I think was just like one of those where she just got a random bolt of fabric, but it's all in my color palette and I got two yards of each of these. Although honestly with knits, I can get away a yard and a half will get me a t-shirt, which is probably what I'll end up making with most of these. Um, and yeah, I can feel a difference between three of these and the other one. So this one is the kind of the outlier. Again, it's just a cotton jersey in this beautiful, um, kind of corally color. I've been wanting to bring a little bit more pink back into my wardrobe, but pink that's obviously in my capsule so it's kind of this corally pink um so yeah i don't know what this is going to be i just made um the fa you guys are watching the fawz which is fabric that i was gifted for that purpose that was sponsored fabric but um and it's a little brighter than what this is so um yeah this will maybe just hang on to my stash for a little bit but yeah i mean there'll be a t-shirt of some sort so i grabbed this one and then these three were all the same fabric they're just a designer cotton spandex knit it's my it's one of my favorite knits viscose or rayon jersey also has a place um, for certain patterns but for most of the stuff that I enjoy wearing, cotton spandex is where it's at. So I usually keep the cotton spandex in my, more of that in my stash than the other. But I got these three colors. Okay, so I grabbed this one, and I can't remember what she called it, hoping that it was gonna be, this is a hard color to find, and it's like this um, kind of a sherbet-y color. Um, I don't know, it's in between there. I have a better example on my the other colors my original colors that I had done but I grabbed that because I love wearing this color and it's a again it's hard to find and um, I, I think it makes my eyes look really blue so um, yeah I grabbed some of this and I had some knit from her it's not this color but it was called like creamsicle I think or sherbet or something like that and um, I love it and I've got a t-shirt out of it and wish I'd bought more so this is a close color not exactly but close and then I, again, I grabbed the, this kind of a kiwi color because I wanted to play around with it. I've just not worn this color like at all, but it kind of falls right here. So we're gonna, you know, I grabbed it at some point on a play around with that bright green. And then I grabbed the purple, thinking that it was gonna be kind of like this purple. But when all is said and done, this purple is actually, that's more of a periwinkle really on my color card. This matches my daughter's color card like perfectly so she's probably going to end up with this one so this one is going to go for my daughter and um, I'm doing a pattern test right now that I think I may make one her for her as well in this fabric if not um, it's going to just be some sort of a t-shirt or we've really been talking about her wardrobe and I need to finish making some stuff that I had done a plans video with before but also um, talking about things going forward. She's got much more concrete ideas, which is really exciting of things that she really wants. So, but this one's gonna go to my daughter because it just fits in her color card better, so.
it'll go in the stash for now. And then two fabrics that I bought from StyleMaker that, again, were for my um, winter capsule and had nothing to do with this. I mean, these weren't on sale. These were just um, in the regular. But I had been eyeing, when she replenished her cotton French terry in quite a few colors, I was eyeing this Brett colorway, and I actually bought four yards of it. Um, actually, I was going to use this for that shirt that you guys will see at some point, but, um, or sweatshirt, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, but, um, my daughter, I was having, putting it with a whole outfit, um, and she decided that she liked that better with it than this. So this is going to go into the stash for now, but I'm really foreseeing like a athleisure, like loungewear type set with this. And it's, I mean, it works really well, like in this brick color right here. It's a little muted for me, but I can, it works. So, um... Yeah, so this is kind of like that pink that I'm pulling, although this is less pink, <laughs> but into my winter capsule. So um, we'll see. Now that I've made that, I may be good, and this just may go into my stash for a little bit. But again, it goes with everything else, so it will be used. And then the last fabric I made, I actually can't show you because I've already turned it into a pair of pants, but it is a green corduroy. It's like, um, I think it's called spruce corduroy. And... Um, I don't think you've seen the video yet, but it's gonna. Be, I'm gonna show you the pants that I made in the Sew the Trends video. We're gonna be talking about texture because texture is huge this winter um, with the trends, and I'm gonna be showing you those pants that I made. So that will be coming. But I did buy that fabric as well. And then this does feel like a lot, but <laughs> then I grabbed a few things from Minerva. Um, they were having a sale as well, and I can't remember. I think it was. I'm a club, a uh, craft club member which you automatically get 10% off. And then I think the sale was 20% off certain fabrics or something like that, or an additional 10% off plus the craft club. I can't remember now. I think I got 30% off this stuff, to be honest. So it was 20% off and then an extra 10% off if you were a craft club member. Um, but one of the things I bought was, this is the heaviest fabric I think I've ever owned. This is a knit, and honestly, um, this is actually a better color for my daughter than it is for me. It's a little too muted, but I was grabbing this for a pattern test, and I think it's going to work. Uh, but it is a kind of this rope ribbed. Now the stretch goes, it doesn't have much stretch, but the stretch does go horizontally, but we're just going to go with it. It's going to be a kind of a a cardigan. You guys will see this here actually really soon. Need to actually get this made up here in the next couple days. But um, yeah, it's a, a beautiful knit. It's very heavy though. Um, as always, I'll leave everything linked down below. Now with Minerva Fabrics, even though I pay exactly what you guys pay, I do have affiliate links with them, which means if you click on the link for Minerva, and I note exactly what our affiliates down in the description box, but if you buy the fabric, um, I do get a commission. Now it doesn't cost you anything, but Minerva pays me a commission. So I just want to be upfront. But um, yes, this kind of a, I think it's called rope. They called it like a rope net, but it, it, yes, I bought this with a pattern test in mind. So I've got that. And then I bought Two of, so I bought more. I've used this fabric before. You've seen me make my Breton top. It's the navy and white striped cotton jersey. I love this stuff. But I wanted to make, I wanted to remake my um, <clears throat> boat neck shirt. So it's my Concord t-shirt, but I've hacked the neckline um, to put the facing because the way I just turned it under and stitched for the current one that I've got. And it's just the neckline is just wearing out easily. It's like, it's kind of, um, it's not snapping back into place. But my other cotton jersey, uh, boat neck shirts that I've made with that pattern that I put a facing into look fantastic. So I want to remake that. So I got, I think I just got two yards of this. Oh no, I got three meters. Sorry, meters. Three meters of this. I have a little bit of this left, but not enough to do much with, like maybe a set of sleeves. <laughs> but um, I mean, I love, love a stripe. It's just something that I'm drawn to. So while it was on sale, I grabbed this and I also grabbed two yards of this same fabric, but in the red and white. Um, and it's, this is a good red for me. It's kind of, this is the back side of it, but it is, I don't know, maybe a little bit more true red, like not as warm as like my best red, but yeah, this is going to be made into some sort of a, um, Mariner Breton style <laughs> top for the summer. So I got two meters of that. So those were just two that I knew that I wanted. And then these two caught my eye and I grabbed them. They're French Terry's. It's the same fabric, two different colorways, um, and they're cotton French terries. They have just a beautiful stretch, and I kind of grabbed these two thinking, well, maybe these could be a Sirocco as well. I don't need multiple 
I mean, like two Siroccos is probably all I need in my wardrobe. Um, but if I decide to do something else with that other fabric I showed you, um, I mean, I'm always looking for French Terry. That's something that I always wish I had in my stash. But um, so I got the navy and cream colorway and the ochre and cream colorway. But what's fantastic about this fabric is it's got, can you see, the metallic right along the edge of the cream. Can you see the gold? I don't know if it's going to show up. It's so pretty, and it's on both of them. I just think it's something kind of fun and glitzy that um, is just a little different. So they're just more than just a striped um, French terry. So both of these in my color palette, um, well, I kind of push a little bit on the navy. Really, I don't have a navy in my color palette. It's really, well, kind of. I guess it's more like that color down here. So anyway. That is uh, two that I grabbed, three meters of both, because um, I think I can see myself making like maybe a stand hoodie at some point. I'd like to make a zip up one. So while the fabric was inexpensive, I grabbed that. So that is the fabric that I grabbed over um, the Christmas holiday. So um, yes. Okay. And then I grabbed some patterns from Pattern Emporium and I'm gonna go through those with you real quick. Most of these are for the um, upcoming like spring and summer months because uh, you know obviously Pattern Emporium is an Australian company so they're in summer right now. Um, but I got, and some of these are older, but the first one I got is the Chelsea, I'm looking at them on my phone so I can talk you through them and I'll obviously post um, pictures. But I got the Chelsea button up skirt mostly because I have been looking for a good button-up skirt pattern that's just like a-line for a really long time now i have the fior which is closet core patterns and i made one of those but it's a little bit more of a swishier skirt a little bit different now could i hack my own a-line button-up skirt yes i guess i could but this was on a really good deal and i was looking at everyone's little makes and it comes in so many different um length versions and i was like you know what i'm just gonna buy the pattern and i've been so impressed with their patterns anyway now, I haven't done any of their woven patterns, so I, this is the first time I've purchased woven patterns from them, and I'm very excited to try them because I've had such good luck with their knits. Um, the other one I grabbed was the Keep It Simple Babe, um, uh, what's it called? Keep It Simple Babe Semi-Fitted Tee, mostly because I love the square neckline on this, and I want to play around with that, and um, I have, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's kind of a cropped um, boat neck kind of style shirt, but it's got some like bishop sleeves that come with that one, and you can stick those sleeves onto the shirt. So I thought I want, really wanted to play around with that. Although this pattern also has, I mean, her patterns come with all sorts of stuff. I guess it just has a fitted sleeve, but I wanna play around with sticking the bishop sleeve from the other pattern I have from her onto this t-shirt. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, it's got a square neckline, like a crew neckline, a scoop neckline a v-neck, a boat neck, a turtleneck, and then a more of a fitted sleeve, but like, yeah, long sleeve with cuffs, a regular long sleeve, three quarter, short sleeved, elbow sleeved. I mean, there's a, a lot of options, folks. A lot of options. So I grabbed that one. I mean, I, yeah, I grabbed that one. Um, and then I also grabbed this unwind sweater jumper pattern only because it looked so nice and like relaxed. And I thought this could be a fun little different looser fitting t-shirt. I could see me making this in like a rayon jersey. You know, I said that um, to each, you know, that there's a place for the rayon on the viscose jersey. I could definitely see myself making something um, in this or even using like um, some of this cotton tinsel sweatshirting like for myself or my daughter. Um, or even some of the French Terry to make kind of a slouchier sweatshirt that's not really a sweatshirt. But yeah, I grabbed that one. Um, and then I grabbed the Palazzo pants, and now I can't remember. I think these are the knit ones. I was going back and forth. Um... I think, I think this, yeah, this is knit. Because there was a, I was looking at one for like woven and then, which is their newest one I think and then also the knit one but I've got the summer Kai pants or summer key pants from Love Notions that are a woven fabric so I thought well I'll put you know I'll make some cuts here <laughs> can't buy it all um, but I love the pockets on these I just think that they're really cool and I think that these would be fun um, as culottes or you could even make them as shorts and they would be like a skirt slash shorts I think that would be very cute and some drapier knits um, I'm thinking again more like viscose rayon knits for the warmer months, and I just wanted to grab these while they were on sale. 
Um, and then I grabbed the Meet You There tier dress and top. This one um, is a fairly newer release, like not the newest one, but the one before that. And I grabbed this one because it's like the woven version of the... Um, so the Dream On Tear dress that was the knit dress that I made out of the white fabric that's got like the um, kind of the animal print, but it's yeah that dress that I made, one of my knit dresses. I love that so much. And I thought, well, I'm going to mess around with it and see if I like this in a woven as well. So this is kind of the woven version of that. Um, I mean, it looks very easy breezy. Um, I would probably make mine in a rayon, maybe even one of the rayons I just picked up. Um, but yeah, it just a lot of tears. There's different sleeves. It can be a top. Yeah, this one looked interesting. I don't know how it's going to do with a full bust, but we're going to play around with it and see. And then the last one I got was the low-key cami top um, because she's got two fronts. So she's got a fuller bust front on this one. Um, let's see. Yes, you can choose the dart free front or those with the fuller bust, you can choose the darted front. So I'm not sure... Um, I mean, maybe that just makes it easier to do like a full bust adjustment on it, but I would do the darted front because I need darts no matter what. But there were a few different um, options, even with the straps, like she had some thicker straps, I thought. Well, she's got, yeah, and some different options for like adjustable straps and like the bows. Maybe she doesn't have different thicknesses, but I was just thinking, well, I could hack that to make sure it covers my bra strap. But it didn't look like overly thin anyway. So I thought that might be kind of fun. Um, you know, I love my um, Misty Cami from So Altered Style, but you know, I just thought it'd be fun to try a few others. And this has some different necklines. It's got like a straight across neckline, the V neckline, a scoop neckline. Um, yeah, just some different options and also for the back. So I grabbed that one. And again, I was just excited to try some woven patterns from them because I've loved their knit patterns and uh, waited for the sale and grabbed a few that were on my wish list. So there you have it. That is what I grabbed from the after Christmas sales. Um, yeah, I hit up Stylemaker, I hit up Minerva, and then I was gifted the um, gift card to Melanated Fabrics and got that one. I'm very excited about that fabric. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, and then the Pattern Emporium patterns. So that's kind of what I spent my Christmas money on. <laughs> Um, getting ready for a full year's worth of sewing. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a Sew the Trends video that's coming up. I have um, some pattern releases that are coming up. I've got a wardrobe, my capsule wardrobe update. I've done a week's worth of outfits pulling from the entire capsule. Um, and I just kind of want to talk a little bit more about that and my feelings on how that's going. Um, so that'll be coming up here soon. Um, then my monthly Destashify video will be coming up before the end, maybe next week. We're getting to the end of the month, so <laughs> I'm trying to think like how this is all going to play out. In addition, like I said, to a couple of pattern releases. So a lot of fun stuff coming up. Um, coming up on the Sundays, the last week of the It's Just Stitch Foz top as far as sew alongs. Also, my video on 2022. Thank you all for all of the comments. I've gotten some emails from people. I am slowly making my way through everything because I don't want to gloss over anything and I, it's just taking me a little bit longer, but I was anticipating that um, and I was hoping I would get, you know, some more in-depth comments and stuff like that. So I am slowly making my way through all those comments and the emails that were sent um, all in regards to that. Thank you so much. I think this is going to help make the channel better for everyone going forward. Um, you know, be something there for everyone to really enjoy. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, that is all I have for today. Um, I will see you next time. Have a good one. I hope you get some sewing in. Bye.